Hi everyone, a lot of people have been asking about the 1.55 version of the flow which we made because there were some improvements and updates to the earlier version of 1.5 so I just wanted to guide you through the changes that we made Externally you don't see any changes uh, dramatically except for uh, things which we're gonna explain here uh, For example, um, in the 1.55 uh, version we made the connector go inside a bit more because it was sticking out uh, on the initial design so we updated that on the PCB Also the camera, we updated the camera as you will see uh, Here I have a, an open version of the motherboard we added the camera to an Omnivision camera, 2 megapixels. Um, also, on the other side of the device, you will see that we added um, things such as uh, a compass. The battery management uh, IC has been changed to something better because uh, monitoring the battery is very important. Uh, other changes we made is the, to the ground of the PCB itself to reduce noise because there was some uh, small noise on the GSM when you were calling someone you were getting some noise from the speaker so we altered the entire PCB so that there is no more noise anymore uh, Other changes we made is the ZigBit module as you will see on the video here the ZigBit is changed to a 2.4 GHz uh, module and also the, the filters and everything else changed with it. This is for the hardware side of things. Let's boot the device. So we see that it's actually booting the Android kernel and then we shall turn it off to see how the cards are inserted and everything else. As I said before, the GSM uh, status LEDs, for instance, this one is the blue one, represents the GSM, uh, GSM status of the module. You can read about uh, the, the status, different status levels of the module from the data sheet. We use the uh, TELIT uh, UC864G module, which is also a, a 3G and GPS, except for the cellular network. Okay, you can see here Android uh, has loaded. You can go into the settings, um, sound display, just to see that everything is working. Uh, phone ringtones, <coughs> just some music. Okay, uh, the power button. As you will see here, uh, there are some modes which um, some people don't know about, we wrote about it in our blog. Uh, there are some modes on the power button of the device itself. For instance, uh, as it is turned on now, if I press it and, uh, if I press it and uh, keep it pressed, the device will turn off. And you will see that everything turns off and the GSM as well. If I press it back on, it will turn on. Now to turn it off completely, you need to leave it for about 5 seconds pressed and it will turn off because if you don't, it will go to sleep and some people forget about that and they leave it at sleep and the battery goes depleted. Uh, this is a, a limitation basically of the Gumsticks module because um, Gumsticks uh, didn't give us any access to the power management IC so we had to make our own. So we are communicating with it through I2C and we wrote our own firmware in order to be able to control the power of the device. And so we had to make our own modes for the power and uh, turning off and turning on of the device. Uh, okay, now let's uh, go quickly about the cards. Uh, in the Flow G1 version, the cards, uh, the slots for the cards, uh, we had to put uh, very cheap uh, slots in order to be able to make the device as cheap as possible. In this version, the slots are best better 
Uh, as you will see, this, the cards slide out very easily. Also, the SIM card goes the same for it. You just can just pull them out. Okay, that's for the updates, uh, the basic updates of the device 1.55 version and the differences from the 1.5 version. This is going to be our uh, the last time we make uh, a flow based on gum sticks and the next version is going to be based on our own processor. So no more updates are going to be made on this. We made as much uh, in improvements as we could on the device and uh, I don't think there is anything else we can do on it. So that's it for now and uh, check out our blog and uh, our website in general and we have a lot of documentation on the flow. You can read about it in the product details as well as in our blog and the wiki. Thanks, bye.